Hey guys. Well, in last week's video, we machined the tool blocks here for the Altros turret. And in today's video, we're finally going to actually do some machining. I finally got uh, the tool in that I was waiting on. It was uh, this tool here. It finally came in, and so I've got it loaded in here. And I've got the offset set. Uh, what we're going to be machining today is a part that I machine uh, quite a bit. It has three tool changes. Uh, it's this little part here. As you can see, we've got some threading, some parting, and uh, some profiling here. So we'll have three tool changes. Now with Mach 3 turn, tool calls are called a little bit different than with Mach 3 mill. So with Mach 3 turn, we're not going to use M6, the NRG code. We're just going to use T05, which is position 5. And in my case, I'm using 12, which is the offsets for tool 12. So the tool that we're using here is, is in position 5. However, the offsets are tool 12. I, what I did was I just kept the same tool numbers I had originally. And for my original uh, quick change tool boast, this is tool number 12. So I just came kept the same tools. You're not limited to eight particular tools. So if if you already used one through eight and you need tool nine, in my case, my threading tool is tool nine. It just happens to be in position three. So I to call that tool, I just call T0309. So it's tool three or turret position three and the offsets for tool nine. Uh, it's really simple the way that Altros wrote the M6 macro. Really, that's all you have to be mindful of. Uh, one other thing that we also need to do is we need to position the turret away from the material in order to change the tool. So what I've done is I've just added this line here, uh, G0X 1.25, Z 1.0. So that's going to position my turret out of the way so that I can do a tool change. That's pretty much all you really need to do to set up the turret and run your G-code, you just need to make sure your tool calls are correct and you position the turret out of the way. Now you can position the turret out of the way in your G-code as I've done before each tool change or you can edit the tool change macro and do this. However, I caution you on this because uh, different parts require different positions. But let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll uh, run this part here. Get a position where you guys can see here. So we're uh, on tool number 16 here, which is in position four. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, do a tool change. So we're gonna move out of the way and then uh, do our tool change. So you can see that last move there at the end is so that I can uh, go ahead and simply add another piece of stock and get it uh, set to the right location. So I just lowered this I 
I just moved this tool so I can just butt up against that tool there, tighten it up, and now I'm ready to go for the next part. Uh, let me get this out here. So that part takes a minute and 27 seconds. And you can see that if you're doing a bunch of these, having to change those tools every few seconds there gets uh, time consuming. So it's nice to be able to um, have the turret do all the work. So now I'm just, all I have to do is just change the stock every minute and 27 seconds. So you can see we've got this threaded. This is a, a 1032 and I'll just nip that off there. But it turns out really well, really quick. and the turret saves me from having to do all of those all three of those tool changes so let's run this again Pretty simple and straightforward. Now I haven't really refined this G-code for the turret, so uh, it's still for manual tool changes there. So there's probably a little refining I can do on some of the moves there to make it a little bit quicker. But I think you guys uh, can see that having the turret is going to make uh, your time save uh, quite substantial over three tool changes. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button down here below. That way when I post a new video, if it's something you're interested in like this one, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. If you'd like to see how I quickly set up the tool offsets on the turret here, stay tuned. I'll show you how I did that in just a moment. As always guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to set up the tool offsets for the turret. So what I've done is I've rotated this to tool number one, which is my master tool. I have jogged this in until my indicator reached zero. And then I have zeroed out my X axis DRO here. And so now, all the tools will be offset to tool number one here. Zoom that in there so you can see it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to jog this until it stops touching there. Until the indicator quits moving right there and then I'm going to zero out my 
z-axis DRO as well. And so now I've set Z0 and X0 to tool number one. Next what I'm going to do is just rotate to the next tool. In this case it's tool number two. I'm going to jog this in until it touches. Back it off. Okay. Alright, you can see that it just moves there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tool table here. I'm going to select tool number two. Uh, in the tool offset screen here. I'm going to select tool number two. Oh, let me zoom out. So I'm selecting tool number two, and then I'm going to just hit this touch Z right here. And that's going to set the Z-axis offset. Okay, you can saw, uh, see that the Z-axis offset there changed. So next I'm going to line up my X-axis. Jog this in again, sorry. All this camera work here. All right. I'm going to jog this over. And we'll just jog this in until it hits zero. Right there. Cover that up. Okay. So I'm going to hit touch X down here. And then now you can see the XDRO changed to zero, and we've got our offset here. That's pretty much all you have to do. You just got to rotate to each tool, make sure you change the current tool number to the new tool number, and then go around and set all of your different tools. Now for the parting tool, That can be a little tricky. Uh, for setting X, it's pretty straightforward. Just jog in like you normally would. And get it lined up on zero. Okay, but for the actual parting edge, you want to have this inside edge here unless you're doing an operation uh, where you want to require this outside edge to be your Z0, but normally it's on this top or front uh, right hand corner is where I like to set my Z0. But other than that, uh, for the threading tool uh, because it's diamond shaped like this one you'll just set Z0 to the tip or the center of that radius there that usually works really well for me uh, and that's pretty much it it's really not that difficult to set all these offsets you can use an indicator I've shown a video where I have put a piece of stock in there and I've taken a turning and then just jog it until it touches the turn and then set it that way but I find the indicator works just as well so I hope that was helpful All for right, guys. you well I guess that will wrap up this video guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on that subscribe button down here below that way when I post a new video like this one if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out as always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. If you're interested in this Altos turret, check out the link in the video description. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.